Hello, and my best wishes to all the handsome team members of DF. So, you know, no best wishes for me. Or me. <laughs> hey, what, are, what are the specs we of your you. Alex and Tom. <laughs> What are the best? What are the specs of your video editing rig? Furthermore, why don't you guys oh. have beefier gaming PCs? It's your job, after all, to play video games. But I'm just curious. Have a great what? day and best wishes to you. This is kind of curious because I'm sitting here recording this on a 13900K system with 96 gigs of memory and an RTX 4080. <laughs> so you know, it's not as if I've got like a non-beefy system here. But uh, Alex, where are you at at the moment? Editing PC is 5950x, 64 gigs memory rtx 3090 uh everything is running on an, an ssd these days uh, nvme for first recording step and then backup steps are SATAs. i don't know i think that sounds all good to me right yeah but you know obviously i think maybe they're talking about the fact that you oft often talk about ryzen 5 3600 with like 2070 super which isn't beefy. oh yeah but the That's point is beefy. that most people don't have piece beefy gaming pcs yeah. Yeah. So like that, yeah, the, the mid-range spec PC, the other PC is like, I don't think it really gets that much better. The 7800X3D um, with the 4090. That's yeah. it's very good. I think that's fine. Uh, the, the Ryzen 5 3600. Now I'm waffling a bit on this because I just looked at the finals and I was like, it's like, oh man. I, I, my 2070 Super is GPU limited by the Ryzen 5 3600. That's kind C of embarrassing. CPU limited. Yeah, CPU limited, yeah. excuse me. Uh, that, I found that like a little bit like, my goodness, <laughs> it's kind of shocking. I, usually these are like a good pairing where you wouldn't see the frame, you wouldn't see like a great CPU limited scenario with this GPU usually on like appropriate settings. Mm. Um, and this was like 1440p DLSS quality mode with ray tracing. So it was like, you know, it's a high, you know, those are GPU settings that should be intense. So with that CPU, I mean, it, we're going to keep it around uh, for a good while, I think, just because it's fun to look at it in comparison to the consoles. But at some point in time... I, I have bought you a 3060, by the way. I know. I can't wait to get it. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to show that off. But at some point in time, that's not going to be representative of the mid to low range on PC, just by virtue of time passing and there's no reason for people to be still using that older zen at that point so yeah. would you say it's still a working man's pc at this point? it is or a working, working man. man it's producing working man graphics <laughs> working man uh, graphics working man <laughs> graphics oh dear uh, john Gosh. your pc is your gaming pc is yeah, your workstation I only, PC. I only have the one so oh my uh tv just responded to that <laughs> Oh, yeah, it did. A stupid voice recognition. I should turn this turn. I only leave it on because I think it's funny when it picks up words. That's, that's like, it's Bading. just for laws. That's it. Yeah, um, that's good. So, yeah, using 12900K still with an MSI board and the 4090, 64 gigs of memory. Um, lots of NVMEs and SSDs in there now. Uh, I capture mostly though with the Ninja or the Shogun 7, depending on which device I'm capturing. So that captures two uh, SSD drives with SATA connection in ProRes. Mm -hmm. And then I just plug those into my PC uh, with little USB uh, caddies and edit mm. directly from the drives. And that works pretty well. But I, I always put the Premiere project and all the files on one of the NVMEs for good performance. But yeah, I mean, that's more than adequate, I think, for both gaming and video editing at this point. Uh, I mean, I guess it's the, the 12900K is starting to get older, but I feel like the 13 and 14 from Intel, it's not like they feel very iterative and minor. So <laughs> it's, it's not gigantically game-changing, but you no. would feel the benefit in encoding because they've stacked yeah. up on the efficiency cores. And so that's true. Right. So it would probably help a little bit with encoding. That's true. I'm slowly chipping away at my uh, work process time issues where, you know, obviously got gigabit recently, finally, which makes uploads much, much faster. And, you know, time is money, right? So that actually mm -hmm. saves me... Uh, I, like an hour maybe on each video something like it saves yeah. a, a significant amount of time because of how fast i can upload and also re-ups if i if there's an error in case there's an error yeah. right but i'm still limited by encoding speed at this point uh which can be pretty slow for 4k even on this machine especially the when i have like a long 4k video which i yeah. sometimes do uh that, that takes a while to 
takes yeah. quite a few hours, I would say. The I'd GT7 versus Forza one, get, getting that out of Premiere took like five hours, and then encoding it. Yeah, it was like an entire day of just crunching that, which was uh, <sighs> tedious. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I feel like Premiere is my big actually. Sorry, Adobe. Premiere is my big bottleneck. It's the export because PC yep. videos have a lot my pc videos have a lot of three-way four-way uh comparisons and uh as well as our uh you know proprietary fps tools um graphs that are exporting the graphs are slow but then three and four ways are also very slow in premiere and i have no idea why i, I still don't know why they should they feel wait, like wait. they shouldn't be slow oh the graphs three or yeah. Three or four no, no, three, three or four way comparisons. Oh like no, that, three, well, three that video depend, streams at four K depends on what type of video you're using. On ProRes, it's totally fast. Well, yeah, that's the thing mm-hmm. is, I, I I don't have ProRes. No, well, I'm just access. Saying, yeah, there, there are codecs you can capture, and I think Magic YUV is like that. Yeah, so I would love to use Magic the YUV. Sizes. I know <laughs> the file size is bigger than so, ProRes, but yeah, it's yeah, like so. It's huge. I, I I have to when I do 4K 120 capture, which the finals, all that video, like so in that video, I used a lot of slow mo shots of the explosions or just right. even the general gameplay. All that's 4K 120 being run at half speed, uh, and I play I did all the B roll in that video at 4K 120, which was really fun, but. <laughs> uh, Magic yeah. YUV 420 okay, is yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. 2.5 yeah, times. It's so big. It's, it is big. It's, it's so big. Big. 